And Dark, but we're going to try to show you the bridge just behind me there. And tonight we have acquired some local ring camera audio that captured the moment police opened fire on the bridge. Roughly six to seven shots. Take a listen. Those are the gunshots that pierce the night from the Piscataqua River Bridge. Police opening fire on a man who stepped out of this car with a raised gun in his hand. Police say the drama started around 2 this morning when they got calls from a man saying he'd had a fight with his wife and she was dead. 30 minutes later, police spotted his car parked right in the middle of the bridge. Law enforcement agencies from New Hampshire and Maine responded and to tried to negotiate with the male. Nearly 100 miles away in Troy, New Hampshire, police discovered the body of the man's wife on the kitchen floor. Back on the bridge, negotiations broke down. The male then exited his vehicle, and at that time he raised the firearm. Three troopers, two from New Hampshire and one from Maine, opened fire. The man fell to the river below. The Coast Guard quickly recovered his body. It was only then that police discovered the man's eight-year-old son in the back seat, shot to death. I want to stress this right now, that the child's death is not associated with the police officer's use of deadly force today. Neighbors in Troy say the family had just moved into the house on Monadnock Street about six weeks ago. The family was new to the Granite State and had no known connections to Maine. Shocked completely shocked. It sucks that they took a little boy because I have grandkids that age. So to me, that's hitting home. Now, authorities have yet to release any names. They say they will wait until after an autopsy in the morning on the mother.